Okay, final video for this question. We have done everything up until 4.1.5, so this is 4.1.6. Okay, um, this question, for some reason, learners always seem to leave this out, but it's a really simple one to understand what exactly is being asked, okay? So this f of x is some function, this g of x is some function. So let's go look quickly. f of x is your quadratic. So f of x is your parabola. I'm just going to make this in red quickly. That is my f of x. Okay, g of x. Let's go make that some other color. Let's go with green. G of x is your straight line, your linear function. Your straight line is over here. So you have these two functions. Okay, so you have f of x, which is the red one, and g of x, which is the green one. You have those two functions. Okay, now they say that f of x, red one. The red one is greater than, that inequality means greater than, the red one is greater than green one, okay, that's what this means, the red one bigger than green one, so now let's read, write down the values of x, so you want to know your x values, for which red one bigger than green one, so let's look at this, okay, let's make this black. I'm going to look at my x values, so this is my x values, okay, this is my x values, these black lines, random lines that I'm drawing now, these are x values, okay, let's erase all of those, okay, um, if I put my black line here, that x value is 0, if I put my black line here, this x value is 1, okay, so the x values are moving in those vertical black random lines that I drew, now let me ask this. If I draw this line over here, okay, that black line, is, what did we say? We said we want red, which was f of x, to be bigger than g of x, okay? So when I'm saying bigger, then I'm speaking about my function values, which is my y value. So think like this. Where is the red one bigger on top? Where is the red one on top of the green one? So on that black line that I've drawn, which one's on top? This one is on top and this one's at the bottom so green is bigger than red at that x value okay so i don't want that one i want to know where the red is on top if i draw it over here which one's on top that one's on top this one's at the bottom the red is on top green is at the bottom so that meets my condition okay if i draw another one here which one's on top the red is on top green is at the bottom it also meets my condition so it's right okay so let me ask this then from what point up until what point is red on top of green okay so what we should be able to see uh, let's put this in blue from this point over here all the way up until that point over there okay so as I get to a once I get to a over there no 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 over here yes right? my second line the one on the right hand side of A, my red is on top. On the left hand side of A, green is on top. I want the red on top. Okay, so then what I'm saying is from A all the way up until T, red is on top. Okay, so what was the X value at A? We found that in our first question. I think it was minus 2. I don't recall. I th you can go check. Okay, so uh, from minus 2 as an x value up until this t value, which is going to be a positive 5, 5, right? So from minus 2 up until 5. Now remember, we're speaking about x values, okay? So which x values? So we're just going to say over here, uh, let's get the pen back. We're going to say that x is an element, right? From minus 2 up until this 5, red is on top of green great but now let's just look at this closer over there there's an inequality but there's a line underneath okay so they want to know where is red on top of green but they also want to know where red and green is equal to each other that means at a and at t meets that requirement okay so t and a the minus 2 and the 5 are included in our solution because of our inequality that has an equal line underneath okay why is that important that tells me the kind of brackets i'm going to use because it is included values we have to go with square brackets and we are done okay so understand this this is a function this is a function 
that inequality they want to know where the one function is bigger than the other function so from which x values from where up until where in terms of x values is your one function above your other function right